Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today we're going to talk about linear gradients the way we use linear gradients with CSS3 okay the way I'm going to write the code today is going to support all the modern browsers uh, Safari 5.1 plus uh, Chrome 10 plus Firefox 3.6 plus IE 10 and Opera 11.10 plus. Now that's really good. These are all very old browsers. These are really old versions. Uh, today, the recent versions are way ahead of these old versions that I just talked about, except RE10, right? In which case, people, what I've done is I've provided in the code, in my markup, uh, a conditional comment. So if the RE is less than RE10, then we are linking our main HTML document with an external IE.CSS file which is out here and that's going to take care of the linear gradient so basically the way that I'm going to write the code today is going to make sure that no matter which browser you have uh, it's going to be supported you're going to find a great support for all the browsers okay before I actually start let's understand the CSS and the HTML that we have up front ready that we're gonna tweak that we're gonna add to a little later okay now uh, as always I would always uh, like to focus first on the HTML now look at these three lines lines 27 28 29 so whatever is actually inside the opening and the closing uh, body tags people is what is visible on the web page right there's just one single div people with an ID of L G uh, L stands for linear and G stands for gradient so this is a linear gradient CSS3 tutorial right also notice people that I'm using the HTML5 doc type out here okay and at the same time I'm using internal or embedded style out here as always we have the style opening tag the style closing tag with a type attribute set to text or slash CSS right and the body of the document people I've used the shorthand background property and given it a color of hash 333 right uh, and the only div that we have out here inside the body of the document which has an ID of LG has a height of 200 px a width of 600 px and a border which is dashed 1 px white so how do things look like right now let's check in uh, Chrome to start with All right so quite clearly uh, the body of the doc document has this nice shade uh, hash 333 which is neither too dark neither too uh, light and the only div that has an ID of LG is dashed thin 1px uh, white colored border all around and that's all that there is uh, to the HTML CSS document that we have at the moment now we're gonna insert uh, the linear gradient or gradients inside uh, this only division that we have inside the opening closing body tags let's start let's minimize this okay uh, initially I'm gonna show you how to make it uh, you know how to support only the WebKit browsers so we're gonna test only in Chrome towards the end of the tutorial I'm gonna show you how to support add support for Firefox IE and Opera 2 you just need to change the vendor prefix people no big deal actually but I'm gonna show it to you okay so let's start supporting Safari and Chrome and we'll be testing inside Chrome only basically the WebKit browsers okay you need to start with the background short and property right thereafter uh, you need to write the vendor prefix WebKit WebKit linear dash gradient right this is the value for the background that you need to uh, write out 
after the background shot and property and then inside the opening and the closing round brackets parenthesis I'm gonna insert three color names people feel free to use hexadecimal codes shorthand hexadecimal codes uh, RGBA color model HSL color model it's all fine it's all gonna work right so I pushed in three different colors basically I would want my uh, gradient to have three different shades dark salmon dark red crimson they are uh, quite close to each other and that's all that is there to how you write the CSS for the WebKit browsers Chrome and Safari so the time is ripe to actually save the document up bring up Chrome and uh, refresh the page to see how things look like right now now by default unless and until you mention the direction it's always top bottom alright so we have dark salmon right at the top dark red somewhere out here and then we have the crimson and they're all separated at 33 percent each so basically uh, if you don't mention the color stops when should the first color end uh, it's gonna automatically intelligently divide the uh, division itself all right for example if I were to just remove one of the colors from here like so and save the document up bring up the browser refresh so it uh, automatically divides you know creates the color stops so it knows where to create the color stops that's uh, really cool okay let me be the way I was earlier so I'm gonna press control Z to revert let's save the document up all right now what if I would want to have my own color stops going what if I would want to initiate them myself and not let the browser do it and when the browser does it it does it uh, without any partiality it does not discriminate but what if I actually want to discriminate what if I want to favor uh, dark salmon uh, salmon or maybe crimson right so let's insert the color stops out here which can be done in terms of pixels or even percentages so let's go with percentages let's say I would want it to be at 20 percent the first color stopper for the dark salmon to end at 20 percent and the dark red space out and let's say 40 percent out here and crimson I would want to end at 100 percent or I can even skip it people okay uh, let's save the document up and let's bring up the browser Chrome again let's reload and see uh, how things have actually changed uh, inside the division alright so you can have your own uh, color stoppers going and these can be in terms of pixels too not just percentages now see as I said unless and until you mention the direction it's always top bottom what if you would want to, uh, it to run the gradient to run from the left to the right now all you need to do is immediately after the opening uh, bracket just insert the direction let's say left a comma and a space that's all that you need to do to change the direction 90 degrees let's save the document up and bring up the browser and let's refresh and you can actually see that uh, we have managed to change the direction we can even uh, go something like top left see how it actually works from top left so basically uh, it'll be angled out now to the bottom right I suppose and let's take up a preview exactly so it's going in this direction people this direction diagonally right I can even uh, specify the direction in terms of uh, percentage something like a 50 percent all right so it's angled out so let's save the document up bring up the browser let's reload ah, actually this should be degrees DEG beg your pardon let's save the document up control s and there you go 
50 degrees which I can even specify in terms of a negative value so control S to save the document up bring up the browser and let's see how things change alright uh, just mirrored itself so you can have negative values going too alright uh, now let's get rid of uh, the direction so which means that it will default to top bottom also I'm gonna set this to px this time let's say px uh, let's change this to 60 px okay I'm changing my color stoppers so I would want my first color to end out here the second color to end out here first to end out here the second to end out here and the third to end out here and it should be top bottom which is the default direction let's save the document up bring up the browser let's reload and see the way things look like right now alright uh, I'm gonna make a small change out here and I would want my uh, pattern to be a repeating pattern and it's so very easily done people all you need to do is just go out here and uh, insert the word repeating alright so control S to save the document up bring up the browser and let's reload okay must have made a small error let me check what and where alrighty I have a double dash out here which is not what I would actually want so just save again a minor error minor hiccup no big deal and there you see the repeating pattern so very beautiful people alright uh, I'll continue this tutorial in the next part people we'll see some other options uh, we'll also see how we can actually support it across the other browsers too so the how the vendor prefix is actually changed but that'll be in the other part so please do join me there you have a good day bye bye peace